What's up guys, my name is Courtney Budson and this is What's For Din. Today I'm gonna to be showing you such a simple recipe. I'm gonna be showing you how to make lemon garlic herbed pasta with grilled chicken. We all have those days where we just wanna come home and do nothing. We don't even wanna think about making dinner, but that is why this recipe is so perfect because all you do is make a nice homemade dressing, put it in some pasta, add some chicken. You don't even have to add chicken if you don't want to. And you have a beautifully flavorful meal on your hands in no time. It is so quick and so simple. So let's go over the ingredients. You're gonna need some good quality extra virgin olive oil, some fresh lemon juice, some Dijon mustard, some freshly minced garlic. You're also gonna need a bunch of spices. Of course, I'm using Italian seasoning, some garlic powder, some pepper, some salt, and a pinch of cayenne because it's me, of course. You're also going to need some spinach, some basil, parsley. You really don't need any of this. This is optional, but I like adding this because it's just so delicious with the extra flavor. You're gonna need chicken of some sort. You can either get a rotisserie chicken or you can grill some up like I did, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And of course, you're gonna need some spaghetti. So you can use any pasta of your choice. It really doesn't matter. You can use penne, you can use linguine, angel hair, whatever you want. This is so versatile, you can do anything you want with it. So the first thing you wanna do is get your chicken going if you are gonna make it at home. All I did was season my chicken with salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little bit of cayenne, and of course some Italian seasoning. Threw them on the grill until they were cooked to 165 degrees on the inside. Then you just slice it up and that's all ready to go. Like I said, you can just use rotisserie if you want. It's really up to you. So the next thing you wanna do is get your water boiling so you can cook your pasta. Don't forget to salt the water so that you can season your pasta while it's cooking. So I'm gonna go get that started and then we're gonna work on the dressing and we're pretty much almost done. <laughs> so our pasta is gurgling away back on the stove and we're gonna work on our dressing. So this is the same dressing that I use on my kale salad recipe. It is so delicious. No matter what you put with this, it's gonna taste good. So all you need is some olive oil and I put in a bunch of garlic. Use less if you're not a garlic fan. I'm gonna add all your seasonings, salt and pepper as well, the Dijon mustard and the lemon juice. And all you do, if you have a mason jar like this, is pop the lid on and shake it like a mad woman. And just keep shaking it and everything will bind together because that Dijon mustard acts like a binder to the oil and the lemon juice. So you can see it's super nice and creamy. And you can make more dressing if you like a lot of it, but I don't personally like a ton. If you want to make a double batch, you can. But at this point, you wanna test it and make sure it doesn't need any more seasoning. Mmm, I could almost eat that like soup. It is absolutely perfect. Sometimes you might need to add a little bit of salt and pepper added to it. But other than that, this is ready to go. We are literally just waiting for that pasta to be done and then we'll assemble everything and you got dinner. So I'll come back when the pasta is ready. <laughs> when your pasta is cooked according to package directions, go ahead and drain it off and return it right back to the pot that you were cooking it in. Add your dressing, add all your greens, and the heat of the pot should help wilt those greens a little bit. Go ahead and add your chicken. Season one last time with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste and you're done. The smells in here are just so magnificent. I can't hardly wait. You're definitely gonna wanna serve it right away because the pasta tends to get a little stiff if you let this sit and cool down, but it is so delicious, you're not gonna have any leftovers. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mm. I don't even wanna finish this video. I just wanna eat this. You guys have to try this. It is so amazing how easy this recipe is. It's like, no, it's a joke how easy this is. I mean, you saw, I just threw a dressing together, cooked some pasta, had some chicken, threw it all together, and it's absolutely out of this world delicious. And I hope you guys wanna try it. So if you do wanna remake this recipe, just look below in the description box. I'll have all the measurements as well as the written instructions. And if you did like this video, don't forget to smack that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe because I have many more recipes to come. And if you are subscribed, but you're not seeing my videos pop up in your feed, don't forget to hit that little bell button on the side of the subscription button so that you get notified every single time I upload a video. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.